It is so fucking. We can do it. Taxi drivers, I hate them in every country. Every country. Oh, this is the bullshit. Ah. And they make things so good. Now he have to pay. You see? <laughs> Yeah. In the next time we search yeah. by by yourself I agree. I agree. That is because they just make things more complicated. Mm -hmm. Much more. And I think they guys don't know her own city. <laughs> Star. What was this? I think it's a four. Finally at a hotel, no more hostels for the next couple days. That is what I am talking about. Thank God. So, change of plans. We were going to head to Tyrona Park early this morning. Quinn ended up getting sick last night. Very sick. Still sick. I'm not, my stomach's not feeling great either. Uh, all of us are pretty tired. Decided today was gonna be a work day. Catch up on work emails, edits, pictures, videos, everything. So nothing today. Chill in the hotel, take advantage of the good Wi-Fi and try again tomorrow. After I do it self again. What? After. After. After what? If you're finished. <laughs> so we got a barbershop going on here now. I'm going to leave it like this, okay? But he is very slow. Yeah, it's done. The slowest, but it's not done. <laughs> we are leaving this beautiful hotel. It's time to get out. Three days here was nice. Nice to relax, get some work done. But it is time to go before we get this late checkout fee. A ton of work done though. Great to catch up. Taxi driver just dropped us off like four blocks away. Always the damn taxis. I don't hate anybody, but taxis are the number one people I dislike in this world. Unless you're a good person. So now we have to walk four blocks in this hot ass weather with these bags. The bus came for us. Yeah. Minka, see? See, Minka, claro. Gracias. Okay. Was this smaller? You or him? Uh, I think he is. Yeah, yeah. The you should probably go back because I'm too big for this. All right. Yeah. Good luck. Hello, everyone. <laughs> exactly. The only way to start a trip in Colombia. <laughs> So we have arrived to Mika. We just found out we have to take a 30 minute ride now or walk three hours. That's not happening. So we're taking a bus with a few other people to get to our hostel. <laughs> this is bringing me memories of the Cabo de la Vela all over again, even though this is much nicer. <laughs> So what the people don't tell you is that when you take the, the bus up to Minka, which is about one hour, <laughs> you then have to take another either motorcycle or the car like this, 30 minutes, 40 minutes on these roads through the forest, and then you get there. It's not easy to get to. Arrived into the middle of the forest. So this is our room. And this is going to be my bed. This is why the hotel life is preferred over the hostel life. So we will take a walk around the hostel and see what this is looking like. It's supposed to be one of the better views 
in this area. Are you hungry? I just gave you food. <sighs> so this dog does not know how to shake. In two days I'm going to teach him. You not so much. Pa? Ah. Oh, come on, vamos. <laughs> we'll try again later. <laughs> Sticks you'll ever find, but we're still winning. But we win because America is the greatest country <laughs> in the world. Just kidding. Let's see, should I go for this one on the side and try and knock it in? Or? Yeah, I think so. Can't even see. All right, when it goes back this way, I'm jumping. Oh, that didn't feel good. Hey, <laughs> what are you doing? Without flip flop, is that safer? This is our dorm. This is my excuse for bed. Look at the, the ladder. <laughs> oh no! What? <gasps> if I fall, don't I hit your head on that. I didn't sign a waiver. How do you feel up there? This is so dirty. All right, we were absent for about a day. Didn't do much in Minka. Going on a little hike right now. I'm gonna check something out. And we've been battling a bit of food sickness. I think this is what, the third time during our trip? Yeah. So you've been warned, be careful what you eat. It's inevitable, but try to limit it. So walk into a nice little viewpoint and get some exercise some air Los Pinos it's jungle vibes out oh, here shoot. So I left my shoes in Palomino so all hikes from here on out in the trusty vans not recommended We are quite literally in the clouds right now. Watch out for the mud. Probably can't see it on the GoPro. Right there, we got the clouds coming. Woo! So we just got up here and it just started pouring rain. Set up the drone and everything. Obviously, not trying to lose it, so. We are stuck up here until we decide to walk down. Well, when in Colombia, when in the rainforest, you expect rain. Gotta be prepared. And we kind of have to walk back in the rain because it's about to be all muddy and we're going all downhill. Oh <laughs> we're literally going to be soaked by the time we get down there. And this is my only pair of shoes. Welcome to the rainforest. <laughs> We're soaked. 
I guess I was a bit ambitious thinking I would be able to fly a drone in this weather. But we're gonna do a uh, little nature's umbrella. Here, maybe it might cover both of us. Yeah, hold it from the back. All right, you ready? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Nature's umbrella, I gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> I'm already wet. Only reason he's doing protecting it the is protecting the camera bag with the drones and phones and everything in between. There's no going back. Just a bit of information for those of you that don't know. If you're ever in the rainforest, typically it rains almost every day around midday and so we knew that it was a good chance that it was gonna rain we just had been inside all day uh the hike we wanted to do was like two hours away didn't have enough cash to pay the motor taxis and get down from here tomorrow so we were just decided to go on this little hike and as you can see the hike has been ended so beware if you're ever in the rainforest going on a hike. I can't do this. The, the gringo is learning how to dance. Tonight was teach a gringo how to dance night. One gringo left. One gringo left! So, we are in Minka right now. Catching the sunrise. Nothing too great right now, but beautiful area. Very green. He's gonna get some shots, but I don't know if it'll be worth it. So we'll see. sunrise was to be honest okay at best uh, second sunrise in a row and nothing special sunset here is amazing though so we're going back to sleep packed up time to get out of this hell hole and uh if i get another one of these fucking bugs flying by my ears i'm gonna go crazy so bugs everywhere we didn't get too many bites actually we're about I'm to loaded with bites on my legs he is because he spent the night on a hammock outside i slept like a normal human in a bed right there my my six foot three ass sleeping on that little thing this is like the tenth jeep we've been in that is full. They are from the Netherlands, like me. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, and one more. Swiss guys. The Swiss. The Swiss always have to ruin things. His name is Snorlax. <laughs> Snorlax.